Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. We're gonna see who is coming towards you right now. We're gonna see what that energy is. I'll pull some oracles, I'll pull the tarot, I'll clarify what's needed, and then we'll see what you don't see coming. So with that, let's just get started. Well, let's see what the energy is here. Who's coming towards Pisces and what do they need to know about it? All right. Who's coming towards Pisces and what does Pisces need to know about it? cards too and then we'll get started who's coming towards uh, Pisces and what do they need to know about it all right oh okay that one definitely wanted to come out oh let's get one more sorry all right Let's see what comes through here. Oh boy. And I forgot to take the bottom of the deck with that one and that one. Okay. So Pisces. There is somebody I feel who is trapped in their thoughts, okay? This is somebody who's trapped in their thoughts. I feel like this is somebody who is still thinking about you. I do feel like you're gonna get some sort of communication from this person because you do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So somebody, I feel, there's something that this person wants to say, they want to express to you. I mean, funny enough, I see the page of wands here too. That's telling me there's some sort of communication coming your way. Someone is returning in your life. Somebody is hoping to reconcile with you. Now you may not feel like you want to reconcile with this person. Everybody's gonna be in a different place in their love life. But I see somebody who is trapped in their thoughts about you and there's something that they wanna say or express. You have love yourself first. I feel like something happened between you and this person and I feel like you pulled back your energy. I feel like you decided I'm gonna do what's best for me in this situation. Let's see what else you have here. Yeah, see so you got mature person here. So this person may be seeing you as mature right now. And it definitely goes with the energy of love yourself first. So you may have made like a very wise choice for yourself in this situation. It can also tell me uh, with for yourself that this is somebody you just felt stuck. Like you didn't see a whole lot of movement with this particular person of the past. Yeah, so you got the fair person. So this could be somebody who has lighter skin more so than darker skin. Now I'm going to say that may not resonate with everybody. You also have here, yeah, freedom. See, I feel like this is somebody you let go. You surrendered to the situation. Maybe you broke free from this person because it felt lighter is the energy that I'm getting. But for some of you, this may be somebody, like I said, if you felt like, things were stuck, you didn't see a whole lot of movement with this person, it could also tell me that this person was too casual with you. Now, you also have here passion. I also feel with reconciliation and freedom, this can tell me like you and this person could be in separation. You have passion here with love yourself first, okay? It definitely shows that this is somebody you had a very strong uh, connection with a, a very strong chemistry so it definitely feels like this energy maybe the passion ha happened very early on and this is somebody who just really couldn't fully commit as what I'm sensing here now let's see what uh, your first four tarot cards say okay there's your energy Pisces yeah I definitely get an energy that you pulled back you pulled back um, I feel from this person, you have the Nine of Pentacles and you also have here the Page of Wands. 
see this is where i see here it's right there with heart to heart conversations i always read the cards in relation here so yep yeah, mature person and nine of pentacles i feel like a lot of you like are in a good place and you're just working on yourself this is definitely a very attractive energy some of you may be doing a lot socially i'm getting here too with that mature person or just people in, you know around you are seeing you as very uh attractive so love that some of you may also be doing very well in your career you have again page of wands with that fair person and the heart to heart conversation see this is where i see there's going to be communication so i'm going to clarify this in a moment and we're going to see what this person wants to say or why that page of wands is here see here is freedom for a pentacles that's where i feel like you broke free of this person because you were looking for something secure i feel like this is someone you didn't feel completely secure with and the six of swords and that's where i feel like there's distance here or you decided to move on from this person so let's pull four more cards before um i start clarifying what else can you share with pisces who is coming towards Pisces and what do they need to know about it? Now I'm going to say for some of you, hmm, we'll see because this could also be a new person. This could be a new person too. If it does not resonate with the past person, but let's see here. Yeah, see, I see some sort of fresh start here with the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Uh, in a moment, after we clarify, we'll see what you don't see coming. But let's do some clarifying. Um, you do have the King of Cups there. Some of you that could tell me you still have feelings for somebody here from the past. But it also can tell me with this Nine of Pentacles that you may kind of be in a place right now where you're protecting yourself in that energy. You know, I don't know if I can be vulnerable with someone that can be that energy as well. Let's see why this Page of Wands is here. Tell me more about this Page of Wands. Okay. Yeah, see, preparing for a rainy day and stay flexible, okay? This is someone I feel like this is somebody planning communication. Somebody who is about to reach out to you. Let's get another one here with this page of wands. Okay, two cards came out here. You have awareness and you also have here baby steps. All right. So somebody's been taking their time to reach out to you. This is somebody looking for love, somebody who wants to date you. I mean, so far, I feel like this could be anybody. It doesn't necessarily have to be a past person. Let's clarify that fair male. Tell me more about this fair male. Needs tending. Okay, so this is somebody who wants to put in the work, pay attention. This is somebody, too, who's hoping you are going to respond, I feel, to their communication. Tell me more about this fair male. Celebration. Wow. This is taking time to appreciate the good things in life. This is happy, happy days. So whoever this is, take it how it resonates. I feel like you're going to hear from someone. Now, if you're out there casually dating, right, because this can be being single, you may have broken free from another situation. This could be a new person coming in your life. It shows a lot of potential here with the sun card. Now, if you are not looking for a new person and you really feel this is somebody uh, from the past, it could be that energy as well. You do have the harmony card here, okay? This is being in tune with each other and getting along. It's also an energy of somebody who's easygoing. So if you have a past ex and they are easygoing, that's going to resonate, right? If, if your person was not easygoing, this is going to be a new person. Could also tell me for some of you, you could meet this person at some sort of party or event if you don't feel like you've met this person yet. So I would say like you got some sort of party or event coming up soon. So if you get invited anywhere, go. Now, 
let's see why the tower and i'm going to say for some of you this could also tell me that there is two energies but there could be a new person because we got something unexpected here with the tower but it also may be that you you held back from a situation here with the tower that just wasn't working but tell me more about this tower okay no that tower is divine intervention so what this shows me more and more now um this person it wasn't the right timing okay this tells me that this person from the past that i feel there was distance separation uh was not the right person because the right timing here talks about uh, having faith and waiting for the right person to come into your life okay the love's wings here is divine intervention okay so that person whoever this past person this person was meant to come into your life for your own for your own growth and there were too many differences with this person okay um, I feel like this is somebody who wasn't devoted to this connection and that's why uh, there was divine intervention and look you have here loyalty because I feel here um, there's an energy of this other person coming in who this this divine intervention was to bring somebody else who is loyal and is devoted you got the future card finding a long-term harmonious relationship coming soon and commitment so i feel like pisces this other person did not work out for a reason because it was not a very stable and secure energy or it was somebody who was not loyal and completely devoted to you okay I feel like there was a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry from a past situation. Now, here's your energy. We also have here justice. Okay, I want to clarify justice. Tell me more. And then we're going to see what you don't see coming. Tell me more about justice. Yeah. See, you've got a whole new chapter that's opening up for you. Now, more and more, I feel this is a new person coming into your life. You've got sweet home, making a good life or settling down. This is marriage and lasting love. So I feel like that's why you broke free from this other energy because you decided to love you first. Now, I'm going to say some of you may be having some uncertainty or doubts about this past connection because some of you may feel a very strong chemistry a passionate feeling but you got open chapter this just tells me there's some sort of new chapter and you also have here protection again an energy of self-care and taking care of yourself what i said there with the nine of pentacles so let's see what you don't see coming i really feel a lot of you pisces there's this new person coming into your life um you got the ace of swords what you don't see coming is there there's a fresh start and a lot of you may be having some epiphanies and realizations that this other situation did not work out for a reason so some of you may be seeing the signs the synchronicities more and more as you think about it uh you may start to understand you may not understand right now if it was recent but i feel uh, spirit is going to show you those signs look at that queen of pentacles see again you know your value you know your worth but it also tells me there's a love offer and it tells me that there's somebody coming towards you who is very uh generous as well uh is somebody who is in a good place somebody who is grounded could be a capricorn taurus or a virgo you also have here the six of cups soulmate energy somebody that i feel you're going to make memories with and look ace of pentacles i can't make it up this shows me that there is a big offer coming in for you okay this person whoever this new energy is that's coming in for you they're going to stand out they're going to stand out and the universe is bringing this person look at that you have two aces here ace of pentacles ace of swords and i, I didn't show you the next card here is dating 
So you have a new person and this is uh, somebody I feel with this future and loyalty card, somebody who is looking for a long term relationship and commitment. And again, it says coming soon. So this person may be around you already, but if not, uh, coming in real soon here for you, Pisces. So Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Oh, and I have to show you the next card is wedding, marriage. I just said it. Okay, this could be marriage uh, material. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.